Hey everybody! Welcome to the Jetty Jet Show. Late night, twelve oh nine over here at the uh, California side. My name is Jet, and his name is Ross. We hey, got a special. Oh yeah! <laughs> oh, I forgot we're doing that. Hey, my name is Ross. And together we are J Ross. Successful. That's pretty good. Ching 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 ching. What's up? What's up? Welcome, everybody. Thanks for uh, joining in this late night little stream. It was It's kind of spontaneous, but uh, we have some things to talk about. I thought it was a great time to stream. What do you think? There we go. I, I do, too. I think, uh, you know what? It's going to be a great show. This is going to be an awesome show. we got a lot of things to talk about. show is random. we got a couple people watching us today. Shout out to you guys out there right now on Ragudov. Fight ya. Oh, LP Manny. we got the... Uh, Frequent, the regulars, Grey Blood, Cosmic Shuriken, MV Romania, and everybody else to join us later on. Thanks for joining us today. Um, so as always, we're working, and then we just thought maybe we should just you know stream a little bit, hang out, take a little break because we've been working quite a bit. Right. A little, 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 little break. Oh, uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Right, How so. are you guys doing? How is your night? How is your morning? Uh, where, are, where are people in the world? Like, where are people? So, yeah, where are you guys coming from tonight? How are you guys doing this? Let us know in the comments. And I will be drawing. Ross will be kind of here and there handling the the uh, comment section. And I don't know. I haven't, done, uh, I haven't done sketching for myself in a while, so I'm just going to sketch a little bit. Uh, what do you think about um, you sketching? You want to sketch? Denmark. Damn, Denmark. We have some of them. That's awesome. Just to let out some of my steam. There it is. All right. So um, we have a couple things on the list to talk about. Yes. Mm, first of all, we were talking about stagnation. Stagnation. Oh, 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 oh. Do you oh, feel stagnated? Indeed. Yeah, dang. In New Zealand, India, Bangladesh. There you go. Fans from all around the world, Jet. Wow, <laughs> that is awesome. Welcome, you guys. I feel the love from around the world. This is awesome. That is awesome. How many of you guys are from the United States? <laughs> Me. <laughs> I am. Oh, man. So, um... Yeah, thanks for that. Um... So yeah, we're gonna be talking about. Uh, we'll, we'll we'll knock them down one at a time. Um, first of all, do, how do you how are you feeling right now, Ross? How are you feeling today? I'm feeling. Uh, I'm pretty. I'm feeling okay. Uh, right. I think it's one of my. Uh, it's a good day, you know. Um, Word. I was productive. I uh, felt like I did a good job. But at the same time, I feel like uh, you know, the energy level my. Uh, Stress is a little high. That's it. Mm. Why is that? You know, it's just, it just feels like one of those days where uh, you got a lot of things coming at you at once. Yeah, it just feels like it's just one of those days where it feels off. You know, like maybe you woke up in the wrong side of the bed and uh, you don't feel like you're 100% solid. So. Make sure you you don't roll around too much at night. You'll end up on the, <laughs> the proper side of the bed. Oh, we have someone from Seattle. Awesome. There it is. Se Hello, Seattle. Um, so here's the thing. Here's the deal, you guys. Um, you guys might not know it, but we are we are actually human and people. Um, we're just like everyone else, uh, a little crazy in the head. And... Um, but one thing you might not know about us is that um, we feel like we can do more. I, I, I know I always feel that. I always feel like I constantly feel like I can be doing more with my life. That's true. And I just have not accomplished enough. Yeah. No. I, I do feel that today. I think I would talk about that uh, before. Um, and someone said, oh, Ross has stress. Yeah, thank you. You know, we all have that. But, you know... Actually, being here with you guys and with Jen and everyone on the stream, it's 
it's kind of de-stressing a little bit, you know, because like uh. you have energy and it makes me feel a little better. But um, I did feel that today. Like maybe mm. I could be further along um, in where I am currently in life. Um, and I, I guess always trying to maybe it's like overdriven, you know. Oh. Maybe I put in yeah. way too much on my plate, and maybe I'm just taking on. So many things at once, so it causes me to kind of think about I'm not where I want to be because I'm wow. making, having too much like mm. things to think about. I, I I don't know. Wow, you hear that? Ross feels like he he feels like he's not where he he feels like he can do more. Is that crazy? Some of you guys might be thinking that's crazy. I know, shoot, because for me, I feel like. I understand where he's coming from, but he's just another level. I, I, I'm always seeing Ross. He's always striving for more and more. It's just, it's incredible, and I, and that's a, that's a trait that I think um, you kind of have to have if you want to find success in anything in life is that that determination and, and drive to keep going no matter what stage you're at. Um, I tell you right now, he accomplished what what I, I mean, double double in in terms of YouTube. Um, oh. in half the time. No, I'm just saying. And, and, and for me, you know, I have I have my reasons. I have my reasons. I'm not focused on YouTube. I have I have to, you know work. I do other things. Um, but I'm just saying as an example, you know, um, some people take like seven years just to get where where Ross is, and 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 for Ross, you know, he's he's reached such a high level of success, and he's he's still pushing, and he still feel like feels like he just isn't there yet. Isn't that crazy? Just always isn't there yet. Man, I mean, that's an awesome thing um, because you would, <laughs> you, you would imagine someone, you know, <laughs> like, well, so, I, again, that, um, that's what you need. need. Out, it's color dodge time. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so nice. Who said that? Um, uh, Fazy, Fazel Chow. Fazel Chow says, when in doubt, color dodge time. Shoutouts to Fazy Phase of House. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Fazy Faisal. What? Faisal Chow. Faisal Chow. Hey. Shout out to you. When in doubt, color dodge. Sure. Color dodge. But yeah, um Yeah, you know, like sometimes like my goal this year was to appreciate what I have. Right. Um but at the same time it's like I don't have Time for that. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's like, oh man, I don't know. I don't got time to just sit down and relax. <laughs> oh man, yeah. There, it can, it can be a, it can be a. There are downsides to, 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 you know. But I think, I think what, if you could choose, if you could choose to just, to just relax and BS, all the time, or to be a workaholic, I, I choose to be a workaholic. Yeah. I, I don't feel like I work enough every single day. I just don't work enough. I don't. Um, but looking back at like the things I've done and like the the time that I had, it's crazy. Like I'm like, that, how did I do all those items? For example, like it's crazy. Um, Anu Rag Yada ask how how Ross how do you uh, Ross do you take any retakes when you edit your videos? Yes, I. Uh, for me, like what you kind of see is a very, very kind of like a perfected edit of what I actually go through in my videos. Um, like I rewrite a lot of lines while I'm saying it. So one line, like "Hey guys, how's it going?" I would stop mid sentence and say, "Hey guys, how's it going today?" "Hey guys, how's it going right now? How are you?" <laughs> it's like it's like a lot of rewriting in the moment. And so I usually have five takes for each kind of a uh, for each thirty seconds to try to find the best line to deliver what I need clearly and concisely in the least amount of time. I uh, I've been uh, there. I've been there when I remember when I used when I used editing my YouTube tutorials. Sorry if I'm talking too low. Um, I was there, man. I remember saying the same thing like thirty, forty times. It's crazy. Crazy. 
that perfectionist type of. Totally. I think as artists, we're like natural perfectionists, huh? Um. Yeah. That and also somebody said uh, <laughs> OCD. OCD. I make sense. Yeah, we have over compulsive, so we we're, we we constantly need exactly per- perfectionist. It has to be perfect. Yeah. So it's a, it's it's a it's a kind of OCD, but it's a good kind. I think so. I think it is the good kind of OCD. Um. So yeah, that's it. Ambition, stagnation, and for me, I I, I believe that you kind of need that kind of um, that kind of ambition, relentless to find success. Um, and it's just kind of, I guess, something that you can't really, can't really learn. I mean, I think you can learn it, but it's difficult. <laughs> Milo agrees. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's all right. You let you let Milo bark, man. He he wants to say something. Yeah. Sorry for uh, pronouncing your. Um... Your name wrong, Anu. Um, but Telador24 asked, do you guys ever get burnt? Yes. Do I ever get burnt? Jet can answer that. <laughs> what are we talking about? We're talking relationships? You have to have the burn. Do you guys oh burnt out? Yeah, burnt out is what I think what it means. So let me tell you, let me let me tell you something. I don't think Ross gets burnt out. I get burnt out. What? Really? <laughs> well, you constantly say that you're tired and tired, but you keep going and then like it'll be 6 a.m. in the morning I'm just like okay Ross I'm 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 gonna go now and just like <laughs> you're still ready to do another drawing like what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you you're like a different level of burnt I don't even know what the hell you're on like but yeah um he I says think, he does uh, he's lying though <laughs> wait what no, I'm just joking <laughs> I'm joking I think with our craft we do sometimes get burnt out um and I think it's I think life and our career and everything is just a journey of tweaking and reworking how you how you operate as a human being, right? Mm-hmm. I'm, this year has been really new for me, and I'm trying to uh, rework my muscle system and my brain system to be able to not be stressed and to take breaks. Like I've never really taken break before. <laughs> Yeah. And now I get coffee breaks, and now I like make some tea, make some food, and it's like trying to we work your daily or your kind of routine into doing what you need to do and mm-hmm. being the best state of mind um, of where you're at. And so that's my my current dilemma. And I feel like I can be at a better state of mind every day. All right. Yeah, man. I remember when I first met you. You would go out with your friends and stuff, and you would come back like, "Damn, I feel like I wasted a day. I I'm so behind." Like, <laughs> I'm just like, "Dude, you need to go out. Just relax." So yeah. We have um uh, uh well um Shinto Dr. Ross. You are like the sun. You give everyone energy to draw. <laughs> oh, thank you. Um. <laughs> Merham Mendoza asks, how long has this been on? We have been on for maybe 15, 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. Yes. Um, thanks for joining 15. in, everybody. Thanks, everybody. Yes. Let's see what's next what's on the list. We have, okay. Um, so, uh, I, I heard you finished up a class, and there's like some some time you have. Do some things. You uh, are you are you uh, are you are you done with that class you're teaching? Weren't you teaching like a character Wait, design? Class? Um, I I recently taught a character design class and uh, it was um it was a lot of fun. You know, I learned a lot uh, while teaching. You know, I learned to just really like assess myself as a teacher, as an instructor. And I feel like when someone's right there in front of me, I want them to absorb the most information possible. And that was kind of new. It was like. I wanted to. My brain was on 150 percent the whole time. Yeah, that's crazy. See, uh, you guys didn't know that, right? He had a class that he taught all <laughs> while he was doing his show, like something else. Um, so yeah, um, you're done with that. Yeah. And now, what are you gonna do with your time? Do you have the space? Okay, with my time, I'm uh, going. A like? lot of things. 
And that's why you feel like you feel stagnant. It's because now all of a sudden you have two hours left in your day. You're like, crap, two hours to play around? <laughs> two hours. <laughs> I got to do something. <laughs> also, Baron Von Ta uh, Taco Cat said, Jetty Jet feels the burn. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> feel the burn. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Taco Cat. Um, yes. I also wanted to run something by you guys, or whoever they were, uh, who's, who's they were watching. Are we segueing to that? Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right there. That's what cool. I'm saying. You should uh, right. talk about your cool. new your new ambition, your new plans, man. My new ambition, my new thing. So, yeah. many of you guys might have known me uh, through my Rothschild channel, but what I really want to do, and I'm really excited for this, is make, uh, do another uh, segment into my channel, like almost a side thing on Mondays, where I um, where I sketch characters, like a paint sketch, and it's uh, more casual and less intense than my rough drawn episode. Uh, well, basically, what I do in each episode, you know, I uh, bring in a friend, uh, maybe uh, a popular character, or maybe a famous person or something like that, and I combine them with a few keywords, like maybe I have a machine or a wheel, I can spin it. And it generates three words. And yeah. I would have to combine and use that into my sketch. So, for instance, hey guys, welcome to this, this sketch show. Today I'm drawing uh, President Barack Obama <laughs> uh, three words. And I would maybe spin the wheel and I'll get rocket boots, a bazooka. <laughs> and I'll have to draw Barack Obama eating ice cream, rocket boots, <laughs> Or something like that. Yeah, that'd be awesome. And it'll be really fun and casual, and um, it won't be like a full painting, but more of a sketch. And so that was um, that's my new endeavor that I'm currently brainstorming. Um, and yeah, um, what do you guys kind of think about it? Um, that's basically kind of like a nice kind of casual concept show where um, you could just jump in and out, um, and it's, uh, and you can put in your ideas too, maybe in the comments. They're like, hey, may uh. Net Next episode, you should uh, draw them eating ice cream, or yeah. draw them in a trash can. Oh, that's 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 a good idea. Um, how about this? You guys write down um, suggestions for like show topics, okay? So, for example, um, verbs. Verbs are very uh, very difficult to come up with on like just between yourself and your friend. But if if you guys are watching this, you guys can write in the comments. Let us know um, topics. So for like different actions like like flying, eating, fighting, yeah, running, reading books, you know what I mean? And it can also be kind of a little a little bit longer. It can be a phrase where it describes a scene. So like fighting a dragon or reading a book or I cooking agree. spaghetti. You know what I mean? And then he's you're gonna do now what? Now like a randomized thing? Like a Yeah, like um like uh basically I write down all the ideas and put them in like a wheel, you know, or uh, like a slot machine or something. And then each episode can be really spontaneous. Like the viewer doesn't really know what um, what the words land on because it's randomized, and I'll have to kind of draw it in the moment. And so it'll be kind of fun experience and less intense than my actual show. Um, mm. But uh, yeah, oh, everyone thinks it's great. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, Goblin, it sounds really creative. You should go for it. Oh, thank you so much. Um, uh, Telador. Uh, Telador asks Ross, "What are some really quick lessons for your character design class?" This is really interesting. basically huh? shape design, uh, shape design. I teach about uh, shape design, um, how they work with one another, straights and curves, having an essence, making your character feel like they belong on the screen. Mm. But um, yeah, that's you, you're you're definitely gonna cover that. He'll he'll show you all of his students' works. It's yeah, good, good class, a good class. But yeah, so. I thought it'd be really funny if I announced the show name on the stream. Is that cool? Oh yeah, yeah. What's what's the show name gonna be? Okay. Come on. Right. I was so happy with this. Okay. Okay. You no, know, like, okay. Obviously, I can't swear on this channel, but you know, like, WTF? Like, what the f? What the f? So yeah. my my show is gonna be called What the Sketch? Dude, Dad, what the oh. sketch, man? What the sketch? Oh. <laughs> yeah. What the sketch? Dude. Oh man, what the sketch? Yeah, that's that's catchy. That's really catchy. Like it. Hashtag so. WTS. Yeah, it so was that. Like, what, what's up? Sorry. It was that or. I think that's golden though. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 
Yeah, it'd be like... WTS. Hey guys, welcome to What the Sketch, where I draw your favorite characters and spin them in a wheel or something. And today <laughs> I'm doing uh, Ariana Grande, and let's see what word we can come up with. Eating an ice cream, funny ear, with a laser bazooka. Oh no, let's see what we can come <laughs> up with. And so, um, and so we, so I would draw it. But uh, yeah, um, that's basically my show idea. Uh, I would love to have uh, maybe um, some of your opinions, some input. Uh, I'm planning to shoot this in a few weeks. Um, so, uh, hashtag W2S, WTS. <laughs> That's awesome. How about drawing a breakup series? First picture will be a breakup. Second will be the girls going out with another guy and the first guy getting jealous. It would be funny. Breakup series? <laughs> it would be funny to see a guy getting broken up with. <laughs> okay. That's bad. <laughs> I don't know how. How funny that would be. The guy being broken up with. Yeah, that's gonna be what the sketch. Oh, he's talking about he's talking about um action. So, so oh, cool. gotcha. okay. okay, think of it like this. We're talking about like a subject is it's gonna be somebody high profile person. Then what they what they have as far as gear or items that they're gonna be interacting with, and then the verb, the interaction, the story behind that picture. That's, yeah. um, yeah. So, breaking up, that's, that's, that would be what you're yeah, talking break, about. Just break, break, break up, yeah. yeah. And I would announce, um, the words on the screen, too, and I'm like, thank you for your suggestion, uh, Anu, uh, Anu, um, yes, basically. So I would, like, announce whoever suggested it, and usually in the comments, you know, um, like I'll I'll drop in the comments. So that that's basically the show format right now. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. So this is your chance, you guys. If you have any ideas, any ideas, love to hear them. Yeah, and you can be like, this is your chance, man. This is making history crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. It's like I think it's just something um, less intense than what I have. I feel like a lot of explosions and everything. Something. Like a kickback show. Oh, what the sketch, Ross? <laughs> <laughs> what the sketch? What the sketch? Hold on. Barack Obama fighting a panda. What the sketch? What the sketch? Oh, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to be... No, dog. No. No. No dog. Batman. Oh damn, that's cool. No dog. It's the uh, neighbor's dog. Uh, that dog's been there for like years, ten years now, man. Really? And then like here, whenever there's a fire hydrant come by, it starts barking like insane. <laughs> <laughs> it's all like it's dying though. Wait, what? Yeah. What? Wait, what? We drawing? Just, just drawing faces. No. I'm yeah. I don't even know. <coughs> Faces and I don't know. Just trying to trying to fill up the show. You know, I'm trying to do some. Dude, what um, the sketch is wrong with you? Oh no! Why are you yelling at me? Yeah. <laughs> Let me the restroom really quick. Go 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 party. Oh okay, here I am, you guys. The Jet Jet Show with Jet by himself. <laughs> How do you guys do? How do you guys do today? Um, I'm drawing. Thanks, thanks, Mr. Um, Telador24. It says cute faces. Yeah, I'm just drawing, man. I like, you know what? Just doing stuff. Because here's the thing. Here's the deal, you guys. Here's the deal. I say it every episode. I've been working on uh, uh, this game, this game over here, and I don't have very much time to draw for myself, really. So I'm just just kind of my quick little little break. And um, I don't know. Why not draw some faces? Some faces. Yeah. I'm trying to find like a technique where 
kind of a run to technique that can just be like, hey, I need to draw a face. And then I can draw the face quickly. Yep. Oh. yep, 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 yep. Let's see. We have a lot of time left. Let's talk about the. Um... Con oh, ideas for convention? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, Baron Von Tomcat, Octopus Eating Calamari. What the sketch? Oh, it's cool. Oh, what the sketch, dude? Octopus Eating Calamari? Mmm. By the way, Roth loved your appearances on all chat. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. Uh, yeah, it was fun. But Mirham Mendoza, question. Ross, how did you come up with your style? Who influenced you? Will I acquire a style of my own by just drawing from life? Your style comes from basically what you like. Um... My style, like, I never really, like, like, I didn't, the thing about style is you guys can't, like, go after a style. Style will naturally develop uh, things that appeal to you. And I think, um, I, a Jet can recall that, too. Like, it's just, like, a natural, uh, you know, like, when you start out a skill and you want to master it, they say 10,000 hours, right? By the time you're around 10,000 hours, you've drawn a lot. Mm -hmm. So you figure out the things you like, you know? Uh, and so I think it'll just naturally progress into something that's uniquely you. Um, for me, um, I grew up loving uh, anime first, and then when I studied concept art, I really loved painters like um, Sargent, Zorn, Craig Mullins, Jamie Jones. And then I studied with Jamie Jones, and um, it was like a great way for me to adapt painting because I love painterly style. And then... I like jump back um, onto like stylized things. Um, I, I really love Claire Wendling, uh, Lion Decker, um, mm -hmm. Otto Schmidt, um, uh, Kim Jong. Like right now, I'm on a sketch fix. Like I like Sketchers now. Um, I, I think sketching is so great about people that can really sketch really well, like Kim Jong Ji, and um, people like that. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how about you, Jet? I absolutely agree. Uh, style is a kind of a common asked question. How do you develop your style? Where do you get your style from? Um, yeah, I think it really just comes down to what you're what you're interested in. Like, for me, I'm really influenced by Asian artists, Korean, Chinese, Japanese. I did grow up with like Marvel uh, comic books because my o older cousin, who was like seven years older than me, he was totally, totally like Western comic book comic book person. So. As a kid, that's what I was exposed to, so I knew like um, I liked Wolverine and and all the characters. But there were all a lot of uh, there were a lot of just uh, naked people, really, because they're all wearing spandex and they're just people with, with really tight clothing. So um, I remember drawing from those those really early, like seven years old, seven or eight years old, trying to try to mimic those those type of uh, those types types of drawings. But then um, all of a sudden, anime came up on the scene. Dragon Ball Z, um, Sailor Moon, Ronin Warriors. Um, a lot of anime early on in the 90s. And then um, I started to fade away from, from, from anime when I was like somewhere after middle school. I was During high school, I was totally not, not drawing very much at all, really. Only sometimes on my sketchbook. And... Those those styles or those those influences stayed with me like rooted in in, in my subconscious I think, but then later on, um, video game artists became more more relevant and so I started to draw from video games, um, a lot of RPG video games, um, Japanese JRPG video games and I think that's where most of my style come from. It it's just some uh, amalg amalgamation. I think that's the word. Yeah. Amalgamation amalg <laughs> of everything combined uh -huh. growing up. Um and then on top of that, right, like you said, your interests. Um what type of what type of uh what type of what kind of features do you do you like in, in, in girls, for example? Um that can that can influence your style. Or if you like cars, maybe you just draw cars. And even that might have influenced the way you draw people. So there, there, are, there are ways. There are ways, definitely, to, to, to copy and mimic styles because there are the, the household names, like um, 
I like Steven Silver, Cheeks. Uh, and, uh, I love Cheeks before, yeah. Yeah. Um, Bruce Tim, people like that. Like uh, you can you can like learn to pick up things from all of them, and and try to uh, you know like um, develop your own style by by mimicking. And I think that that's a good way too. So if you kind of copy all these artists and then um, pull things from the artists, you can develop style. But have faith that you are your own person, and you're gonna you're gonna come away with something different in the end. As, as long as you're drawing, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter really. Style is for me second. Like it's not on my it's not on my priority list. I don't even think about it. Yeah, it's not even like it's not something I think about. So what? Uh, Tink Twice Man had the question. Mm -hmm. um, Tink Twice Man, Ross, I want to move to California and take six classes between brainstorm and CDA. Is that possible? I can't be in California that long, but want to take those classes. Thank you. Okay, so. I can speak um, from experience uh, that you're going to kill yourself um, because I signed up for, I think, six classes at once before at CDA. Uh, uh -huh. And I'm like, this is the summer. This is the summer when I'm going to improve so much and I'm going to sign up for all these classes and I'm going to learn so much. Honestly, I would just take three. I ended up not finishing like five of those classes. Wow. I was so burnt out. Yes. I was. I think I was hungrier than I could handle. I, I overloaded my plate. I'm, I took six classes, and I'm like, oh. And so I start. I stopped showing up to a class, and then class, I'm like, oh, I've way too much homework for this class. And then I ended up going to one <laughs> by the end of it. And I'm wait, wait, like, wait. What's up? Did you did you pay for all the classes and then yes. and then not finish them? Yes. Oh dear. Damn. So I would take. Three. Don't be over ambitious. Um, try to get your three favorite classes. Mm -hmm. That is my. Um, that's an honest opinion. That's a. That's great. That's great uh, advice. I know. I know. For I have the same experience. Um. It was retarded at our school. They were saying, "Yeah, take six classes of a sem semester and just, or not semester, <laughs> a quarter, and and just um." Finish your whole entire thing in, in, in four years. I'm like, no. Do you understand what art is? It's not something you can just put down like five hours and hope to get an A at, this, at the end of uh, the, the class. It's like, yeah. it's indefinite amount of hours. It's as much hours as you need to do to 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 perfect whatever you're doing. So it's it's more like 30, 40 hours. Of, and yeah, so six hours. It's I mean six classes is unrealistic. I know, I know. Yeah. Um. Uh, by the way, Ross, you inspired me to use more smooth and varied coloring in your drawings. Oh, thank you. Um. Also, people are using the hashtag WTS already. Yay, uh, little fan. <laughs> <laughs> um. Nice. Yeah. But I agree with Judd is saying. He's been in my same boat. Yeah, we've been we've been rock. <laughs> what what we're gonna say? I was gonna say rocking the boat, but that's not really that doesn't really work. I don't think we want to rock the boat. What is that? Uh, Jet, can you read the comment of whole whole? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's not bad. Um. Okay. It says here, John H. Our practice makes us better. Yeah. Which one? Barg. Did you guys do bargu? Barg. Barg, hey. Barg. Barg? Barge? I don't know. Maybe you can describe it. I don't know what that is. Uh, let, let's see here. So, um, we're going to... I guess we can do the announcement. Is I don't think it's official yet for one of them. Yes. But, uh, we'll be doing... We'll be, we're planning on going to the Anime Expo and Comic-Con. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> hearing that makes me happy. I'm like, hearing that oh. makes me happy. Oh yeah, I'm freaking excited. Um, Comic Con is official. Yeah. It should be the other way around because it's a little easier to get into anime so than Comic Con. It really should be um, the other way around. But you know what? Uh, we're working on it. And we're hoping to go to Animex one. Hopefully, we can see you guys out there. 
be kind of weird and cool to meet you guys. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to announce it, like, in two months, but you guys hear it first. You guys hear it first here. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we're looking forward to that, and we're still brainstorming on things to do, like um, prepare for Comic-Con. We don't know. I have my list of um, things that I want to draw, but it would be cool if you guys help us out think about what kind of other things we can we can draw. Definitely. Yeah. So yeah. what are you what are you what are you planning on doing if you want to share? Um yeah, I'm gonna shoot an episode there. Um uh, maybe bring a cosplayer friend to Oh, oh what what, what the, the sketch over there? What, the what? The, you're gonna do what the sketch? Oh yeah, I'm 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 shooting an uh, episode of What the Sketch if you guys well if you guys didn't hear it yet because there are new people coming. If you guys ever heard of that, it's just me show up right somewhere. But yes, an episode of yeah. what the sketch and also a Ross Jaws episode. So Ross Jaws Comic Con. Um, I don't know what to draw. I might make a poll about it on my Patreon. Oh, yeah, yeah. But something anime, obviously, for uh, anime expo, and something more gritty and awesome, like, not sure what it is, for uh, Comic-Con. Wait, 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 what's going on with, uh, what's going on with uh, uh, Anime Expo? You, you are, is that, is that, uh, is that, is that all going through? How's it working? Um, well, I, well, our slot that we wanted, uh, mm. It's taken, so I'm requesting another slot it, uh, and hoping it's available. But they are, there are a few tables left, which is fine. Okay. No worries. Cool, cool, cool. Yes. Cool. 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 Oh, and also, uh, Cynix is going to be there with us. We're sharing tables with Cynix as well. So Cynix design. Uh, Lost job, Doctor Mundo skin. Oh, looks like we have a league player in here. What? What? Just a little bit. I say, I say just a, just a little. Uh, just a little bit. I'm thinking of doing not hard. <laughs> I'm going to say Evangelion at NFBO. But well, I, I mean, too. <laughs> really? Yeah, for sure. Nice. I didn't know that. Sick. Oh, yeah. I love it, man. We, do, we, we can both do it and do... We can do different girls. Oh, that's cool. I want to do the red one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Asuka Langley. Yeah, do that one. No, I want to do the white one. I want to oh, do the no, white no, one. no, 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 no. <laughs> no, I'm thinking about it now. I want to do the white one. Okay, fine. We can rock Shambo for it, you know? <laughs> we can... Because I think the white one's more me. Oh, that might, that's might be, that might be true. That might be true, right? I know. And that's one thing. Ross needs to re watch the anime still. I didn't watch it. I didn't watch. Like I, I, I didn't get into it officially yet. Um, what, do you, what do you think about it so far? Because I know you started. I think the animation has a lot of love into it. I, I, I feel like whoever made the show really yeah. fucking cared about. This. Sorry, it's cousin. No, no, it's fine. The craft. Like it's a very well crafted, directed show. It's like it's out of love, and that's the best kind of series. Wow. Or, awesome. or like Avatar, the last Airbender. You know, it's crafted really beautifully. Look far from my winner now. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, Evangelion. We're gonna do that. That's gonna be on the list. Um, I want to do Sword Art Online. Ooh, that's a good one. Yeah, I want to do Sword Art Online. I want to do Sword Art Online, and uh. I'll to Attack on Titan. That's, and that's a great one. Why don't you do Attack on Titan? Why that's don't you do Attack on Titan? Me? Yeah. Attack. That's uh. Attack to you. If you don't want it, I'll take it. I'm just saying. Well, we, we both do it. We both do it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll both do it. Shit. And then um. What up? Um, one more. Uh, I was thinking. Oh, kill a kill. Kill. La kill. Kill a kill. Kill a kill. Yes. Um, I haven't gotten to that yet, though. So we definitely will do that. Oh, Pokemon. <laughs> Pokemon. Yeah. Heck yeah, Pokemon. One Punch, SOA, um, someone said Joseph One Punch, 
Yeah, heck yeah, One Punch. I wonder if anyone here is actually going to Anime Expo. Yeah, who's going to Anime Expo? That's the question. Uh, people suggested Gundam. Dang, that's hard, man. I don't know if you have a mech in like an hour in front of people in a tent. Um, let me tell you, I haven't seen Gundam. I haven't seen it. Have you seen Gundam? Yeah, I love Gundam. I have not seen it. What? Gundam? That, that's my childhood. It's like, oh. <laughs> what? That's it's shameful, so I know. Um, oh. Something to Berserk. I've watched one. Oh, yeah. I've i watched Berserk the movie that that movie thing on Netflix. I've I've seen I've seen two or three episodes. I need to watch that. I I just like I said that anime came out during the time I was in high school, and I was just um I was like this is awesome, but I'm not watching anime right now. Just... Rock looks like a character from Pokemon. I do look like Ash and I. <laughs> Samurai sh- shampoo. Samurai shampoo. That's a good one. Oh, we need to be writing these down. Um, if you guys, here's one thing too. Uh, these the live chat, by the way, you guys is not gonna be saved. So please save your um suggestions for any of this stuff <laughs> until after, I guess. I mean, we can talk about it for sure. But if you want us to really do it, write it again, please. Blue. You guys have a favorite anime? Yes. Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is my top three. Oh, that's you. That's you for sure. That's all That's all you. That that's... is my show. I get so much inspiration from that show. It's... He said. I've watched Brotherhood like... Okay, I'll probably watch Brotherhood again really soon. <laughs> but... <laughs> I think you watched it twice while we've been working. He <laughs> just like, oh. leaves it on. He just leaves it on. It's so funny. And he's like, I'm like, watch Evangelion. I think I'm going to watch um, Brotherhood again. Like, what? <laughs> let's try this not hairy line mark. Um, let's try this kind of, kind of, uh, try to see what we can do from here. Have you watched Hunter x Hunter? I tried getting into it. I didn't successfully get into it yet. But I did get into Fate Stay Night. Strangely. I, I, I just left it on on Netflix. It was uh, one of the animes recommended. I just left it on and I really got into it. I was like, whoa. Interesting. Uh-oh. The dog's going at it again. Hero, Big Hero 6, Spider-Man, Deadpool, Team oh. Rock. Oh, that's more. That's more. Um, that's more car- car- Comic Con. But aren't those like big, big Hollywood names? Did you have to be careful about joining those guys? Probably. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna just do a last sketch for the face, and then. Right. Are you drawing Becky? Uh, no, I'm just <laughs> I'm just drawing random um, faces from the internet. From uh, it's so funny, is it Becky? Can be. Looks like her. She does. She does. Oh, stupid, stupid. I can see Ross's hero. I'm on it. Ah, that's cool. Um, Blue Chimera. Do you have a favorite manga or anime artist? I think Chet would be maybe more familiar. Do you have one? Ooh, 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 ooh. Not really. I I like um I like Miyazaki. And he does manga too, but he's like more than just that. Oh, this is a terrible sketch. I'm starting to lose energy. Lose the energy. Yeah, you know what? Uh, do another sketch and a different different sketch. But um, I like um, I like Akira Toriyama for sure. Kim Jong Ki. Um, and a lot of random Korean artists. I can't memorize them. That's the thing. You know. Sad. I never touched Disney. Whoops! Too late. <laughs> uh, 
yeah, you just kind of have to relabel your characters that you're drawing. Tangled should be Tanga. Yes, exactly. Tanga. <laughs> <laughs> you call it Scrumpled. Scrumpled. Scrumple still skin. <laughs> Scrumpled stilt skin. All right, one more. One more sketch, and I'm it. I'm done. I'm done. But yeah, um, I think I haven't seen Zootopia yet, but I really want to see it. I saw it. Becky might be cosplaying as the robot. I mean, the robot, the <laughs> rabbit. <laughs> the rabbit. Speaking of robots, um. Uh, Ghost in the Shell. Ghost in the Shell. I might do something from Ghost in the Shell. But before Ghost in the Shell, um, let's talk about Zootopia before goes before I go into Ghost in the Shell. Zootopia is a good movie. It's a good movie, dude. You gotta check it out. The thing about it that I liked about it, there's a lot of holes that I, I could pick on it about, but overall, it's really really successful movie. And I think that it better. It was better than a lot of Pixar and Disney. See it. Yeah. And the reason why is because for me, um well it was unexpected. There's a lot of things going on in the in the in the um the, the anime, the, the movie that I just couldn't call. There's a lot of times where I sit there and I bug uh <laughs> bug Becky. Boogie monster is usually what I should be calling her. <laughs> um <laughs> I bug her. I'm just like, yeah, no, this is gonna happen. This happened, and I always, I always call it. Always, I call it. I usually call it. And then on this movie, I just didn't know what was gonna happen. I just couldn't. I couldn't predict. It was in a. It was in a. Like, the way they told the story was in a way where I just can predict. And that right there is something I think is special. Because it's not formulaic. When it's formulaic, you kind of, you kind of follow the 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 story, like the story, the. St- like the strategy for telling their story and where it's gonna go, yeah. And it's not—it's not always bad, you know. Just because you can tell what it's doing and what's gonna happen happen next doesn't mean it's bad. It's just you just kind of predict, predict it. Um. Yeah. I can't wait to watch it. Oh my god. Oh, when are you gonna watch it? I don't know. I should. I I do have three AMC cards, so uh, soon. Yeah. <laughs> Oh snap! That's the sound of playing the end. <laughs> I do have a question for the chat though. Yeah. So my initial um my initial idea was to do Ari from League of Legends in my next episode, which is next week. I'm I, I might de- uh I might delay that a week, but what are some characters that are popular now that you want to see redrawn? Um I'm planning to film this weekend. Um so what kind of Basically, you guys have uh, imp- like you too, Jet. <laughs> like, yeah. what, uh, what characters do you guys? Uh, I mean, make an episode about for uh, my next series. Like, what's hot right now? Oh man. I'm okay. Cause Zootopia. What, what, what's up? Zootopia. Zootopia. Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> I do. Go watch it and then draw it. Dude, Ghost in the Shell. Oh, uh, someone says don't delay. Okay, the, the reason why I'm delaying it because I'm, I'm trying to make a special. I love Ari, and in order to live up to that episode, I do need to delay the week because of filming issues. Don't delay, Rush. Don't delay. Okay. Okay, we're slowing down. I just want to draw this before I move on to the next subject. And then Don't let's meet. To a tribute to Prince. Tribute to Prince? Talk about tribute to Prince. Tribute. Nope, that's not centered. Got to center this. Can I just eyeball it? That's hard, man. Then we can draw the the eyes like this. Then we can put the eyebrows in there. So hard to just draw directly. 
You don't do very many guidelines, do you, in your drawings? No, I should not. WTS, go, go, you guys, just wear suits you are going to interview. It would be like several celebrity coming to Anime Expo and Comic Con. We should wear suits. Wear suits? You know how hot it's going to be in L.A.? No. Oh, my God, summertime. Oh, my goodness. My brothers. My brothers. Oh, my low. <coughs> What happened? Anyways, suits. We're gonna yeah. At my brother's wedding. We had we had suits for his wedding, and it was in Las Vegas in like June, July. Oh shoot! I was struggling. Ross, you there? Yeah. Suits. Sorry, I was just not throwing away Milo's trash. Jet, would you make manga making tutorial? I'm gonna make a who tutorial? Manga making tutorial. Oh, manga making tutorial? Uh, I I was going to actually, but I switch. I I shifted um. I shifted the uh, my work, so I started working on a video game, and I was like, yeah, I'll work. I'll I'll teach you guys how to do some manga. It's it's, it's it's one of the harder ones. There's I mean, manga. It kind of encompasses everything. 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 <laughs> Ross, do you know what I mean by that? Yes. In order to do a manga, you kind of have to have everything. I'm going to make a long list. There's perspective. There, I said it's perspective. And then you're like, wait a second. Perspective? There's like 20 things you need to know about perspective. It has figure drawing. And there's like 20 things you need to know about that. Um, storyboarding. Paneling. Everything, man. It's crazy. Um, and yeah, I've, I've worked on a manga before. Anu um, wants me to draw Dr. Buddha. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. No, no. Who wants to draw what? Dr. Who? Anu wants me to draw Dr. Buddha from League really badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Um, manga is just a hard one. I will, I, will, I will touch on some things from manga. But I'm not the best person to ask, I don't I think, for that. Matter of fact, somebody asked me to work uh, a long contract on a manga recently, and I, I turned him down. Well, I didn't turn him down. I'm st it's still open um, to the person, but I s it's, it's, uh, it's not really open, actually. It's just if I were to work on it, I'd have to be like compensated a lot because I'm kind of in the middle of Something else. So, manga, manga. Do you want to do manga? Do I want to do manga? Yeah. Comics? Yes, sir. Um. Ah, uh, I thought I did before. Mm -hmm. Um. So I I drew a lot of comics growing up in in elementary, but and then I got into like painting and concept art and stuff like that, and then uh. So manga might be in my bottom priority. Mm. In, yeah. Oh, speaking of that, yeah. Um, later on, um, when I'm done with the game, I want, I definitely want to work on my own stuff in manga. I'm doing my telling my story is definitely on there. I want to do that. Um, manga format or not, I do want to tell the story. Oh right. I think I think I've sketched enough. Maybe maybe keep filling these out as we go. It's I'm so rough, man. It's terrible. I can't yeah, maybe I'll do more of these where I just sketch um just a sketch. See where they go. What do you think? You should do Roland from Dark Tower series. I have no idea. <laughs> Let me pull my list. I have a list, but I feel like my my list is like intense, so it might take a long time. Kerrigan, Darkstalker, Zelda, Final Fantasy, oh, Tifa, uh, Kita from Atlantis, Pocahontas, Little Mermaid, Mario, Ari, which I'm which I started. 
Lightning, uh, Naruto, uh, Lara Croft, and Marana from Dota 2. Ooh. Word, word, word. Oh, I have to do uh, Overwatch 2. So, I Overwatch, have... are you allowed to talk about that? Uh, uh, sure. Yeah, I don't see why not. Um, yeah, you're doing Overwatch. So I'm doing an episode on Overwatch, but on a side thing, uh, DeviantArt and Overwatch um, are doing a promotion, and they uh, they commissioned a few artists to do portraits of their characters. And um, so I am uh, doing a portrait for them. They, uh, they asked me what characters I wanted. By the time I answered, all the females were taken. <laughs> Dad, because if you know my work, I draw a lot of females. Anyway, I got Reaper. He's like a like a death grim reaper with guns. So that should be pretty interesting. Um, yeah. Oh man, it took all the girls. That yeah. girl with the pink uh the pink mech, that would have been the shame. I'd yeah, love to be that. That's um, okay, um, I don't want to keep drawing these things because it's gonna just gonna keep going, and I'm just gonna <laughs> parse. Actually, I can do it. I can do it. It'll be fast. I can, just hold on, hold on. I'm just no 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 just to make them look consistent because I started doing it for some of them, and I want to. John H says commission stuff is great. It's like homework you get paid for. <laughs> yeah. Dark Souls yeah. three, go for Resident Evil. Damn. Do you know what happened to Wave Loop and why isn't he making any more videos? I'm not oh, sure. No. Wave Loop is Ricardo, by the way. Oh, cool. R Ricardo is he's he's up to his neck with work too. So he's he's been working a lot um, on a manga too, um, in story pitching and stuff. So he's been away from his YouTube channel. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He's still around. He's, he's always around. I'll tell him, man. If you guys make make it known that you want to see more of our stuff, um, let us know. And she will still are are rooting for for us, like Wave Loop. Wave Loop. Wave Loop. Loop of the wave. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, I'm gonna end this episode because I'm just. Going there, drawing like. <laughs> yes. Okay. So check, so check this out. Before I before I end it, I'm gonna talk about a little something because I have a, a recorded little thing. This is something I'm planning on doing. I'm doing a podcast kind of thing. It's gonna be a test, little test podcast um, about random things. And the first thing that we recorded was with Sykra. Sykra's gonna be in it. Ross is in it briefly. So Cynix Costa, and we're talking about Ghost in the Shell. It's a big old, big old controversy, as you guys might know already. It's been going on around the whole pop culture and, and manga, anime, Hollywood buzz field of things. And anyways, um, I mean, we, we all discussed it. And instead of recording it, I, I mean, instead of uh, streaming it, I recorded it, just our discussion, and we just, I can edit it because. It was fresh, and I didn't I didn't want to have to like stream it and then like make it a big old mess. And this, so I wanted to try something out. And um, here's something I did. Okay, so this is something I did. Um, no, I didn't do this. This is the original. This is the original screen um, teaser from Ghost in the Shell with Scarlett Johansson, and that's the topic. It's about um, how Hollywood casts like. White actors to replace their their characters, where where they're supposed to be Asian or or, or black or or Arabian or whatever. Um, it's gonna be a it is it was a pretty crazy discussion, so I think you guys will like it. Um, I did I took this picture and I retouched it kind of deal, and I put this girl in there instead, using this this photo here. Um, just to show you guys something that I did, and and this is a paint over, just trying to paint over it. Just for me, I wanted to paint over it, and I wanted to see how it looked like with like a photo, photo manipulation, photo bashing. 
um, more realistic kind of. So yeah, um, that's that's what I have in store for you guys. So look forward to that. Um, we cover everything. As Mayo Mayo Taz, Taizo says, most people who complain haven't even watched Ghost in the Shell. Let me tell you, I was a big fan of Ghost in the Shell when it first came out, um, and I still am. I love Ghost in the Shell, um, and I think I know where you're getting at. And I think we we covered it. We covered just about everything. We took. Yeah, you'll see when it comes out. You'll see when it comes out. Okay. Um, that's about it. Um, thanks a lot, guys. Everybody, thanks, Ross, for joining me today on the Jetty Jet Share. It was a good, uh, good talk. Thanks for joining. Yeah, it was. We did a lot. We got a lot done, didn't we? Got a couple sketches in. Um, yep. Thanks, everyone else. And let me see who do we have here. We got a lot of people. John, Anurag, and Fire. Simo, Baron Von Taco Cat, John H, Radio X My, and everyone else. Thanks so much for uh, helping us contribute, contribute, contributing to the discussion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Okay, Ross, you gotta get ready for this. Okay, are you ready for this? Yes, when we're ready. Take care, and as always, ba 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 ba